I get so many comments and questions that I just think to myself sometimes, I go, I mean, it seems kind of common sense to me. For example, say you have somebody who's got hair length like this. All right, let's, let's just focus on this mannequin head right here. Say you've got somebody who has, or, or you yourself has hair length like this, and you want to create a style that is this long. Okay, so we're going from this to this. The main question is, how long should my hair be, okay? Or if you see a tutorial of mine and you see how long this is, people always wanna know, how long is it? And I'm like, I don't know, it could be three inches or it could be, you know, two feet long. I mean, who knows? Like, you know, I think so many people are wrapped up on the actual measurement of the hair for, for your own hair that I always say to you, and, and my best advice is, however long your hair gets to that point where you want it. <laughs> so, you know, if, you, if you're saying to yourself, or you're asking me, my hair is this short right now, but uh, how long, you know, I'm trying to get it to look like this. Well, basically just keep growing it until it gets to this point. And to me, it's like common sense, but that's how you have to break it down. And I know it's probably a lot easier for me as a hairstylist, but just think of it, uh, you know, with your own look, your own hair. If you have hair this short, you want it this long, grow it until it's this long, okay? Uh, another example is a common style like this, all right? Everybody always wants to say, say you're grown out and undercut or you're grown out the sides and you want the top to look a certain way, you know, or you want your hair to look like a certain celebrity type haircut, you know, and they get, the question comes up, how long, you know, or you want the measurements from my videos? Well, my best advice is show a photo or show a video, just go on your phone or print out a photo and bring it into your stylist or your barber. They should know because no one really knows how long it is, right? That celebrity or that whoever it is, you know, they probably don't even know how long their hair is. They're just, they're just gauging it off of like, oh, it comes down to my lip or it comes down to my eye, okay? Because sometimes if you go to a stylist or a barber and you say, I want my hair to be three inches on top, they might, they might not even know what the heck you're talking about. They may say, they may think, oh, this long is like, you know, three inches right here, and they're gonna chop half your hair off. Or you say, oh, my hair needs to be an inch long, and they leave it this long, which is like, you know, five inches or so, and you're like, so you have to stop being so fixated on the actual measurements of the haircut, because not everybody is gonna be able to duplicate that, and it may not be the exact same thing for your hair. So my best advice, in this video and for you guys that are watching, even women too, all right, is to just basically grow your hair until it's how, it, how you want it to look. It's that simple, all right? And if you want to go, now I have had many situations where uh, clients have come into me and they'll have a haircut like this, right? And they wanna go like grow to this. I'll literally, now this is just me talking, as from my experience, I'll cut their hair so it actually grows out into it. And I'll say, look, I'm not gonna need to see you for at least four or five months because I know the way I'm cutting this, it's gonna grow into that. Trust me on this. Not everybody is that experienced to do that. Not to say I'm the best in the world, but I'm just saying like, it really takes somebody who really understands hair, who's really gonna take that time with you and who really can confidently explain to you why they're doing what they're doing. Like what I do, I share my experience with my clients. I tell them, this is why I'm cutting your hair a certain way to grow it out. So, you know, once again, grow your hair until it's at the point that you want it. Another great one is, oh, my hair doesn't stay back. How long does it have to be for it to stay back? I don't know, keep growing it until it stays back. <laughs> There's no magic number to that. You have control of your own hair. So if it's not doing what it needs to do, just keep growing it until you like it or until it looks like how you want it to look. So, you know, I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you did, because you know I'm trying to simplify this for you guys. I love the comments, love the questions. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for more videos with a salon guy.